Leopard seals are often portrayed as these large, ferocious apex predators, and in many cases they are. But with new technologies and additional study, including the critter cam, we are able to see below the waterline and get a glimpse into their foraging ecology, which shows that they're even more dynamic, even more adaptable than we had previously known. My name is Douglas Krauss. I am a PhD student in the Biological Oceanography program here at Scripps Institution of Oceanography at UC San Diego. We conduct all of this research at a, actually a NOAA facility, which is located at Cape Sheref in the Antarctic Peninsula region. We attach the critter cam or other instruments, usually using a glue, an epoxy glue, and we attach them into the fur generally on the back of the animal. Uh, within the next few weeks after we get the instrument back, the animal will naturally just shed all of that fur and any residue of the instrument, etc., will just come off naturally. We had no idea that they would be foraging regularly for fish that live on the bottom of the ocean. And then when we looked a little bit closer, we discovered that some of these animals had developed really individually specialized techniques for uh, hunting and catching fish. And in one particular uh, footage, it becomes really clear that the female swims along the bottom until she can detect one of these fish hiding under a rock, and she'll actually stick her snout down in there and scare the fish or flush the fish out from hiding, and then when it swims out into the open, she grabs it. Um, and in each case, she takes the, uh, the fish that she caught up to the surface of the water to process it and eat it. Probably the most striking to me was the first interaction uh, that we saw that was an aggressive interaction between two different leopard seals. Watching the footage of this female leopard seal who had just killed an Antarctic fur seal pup and then in an instant another female leopard seal shows up and the footage changes dramatically. And in the end, the interloper leopard seal ended up stealing the food of the female wearing the camera. The Antarctic Peninsula region is changing due to climate change, changing faster than, than maybe any place on Earth. And we have an opportunity to study that transition while it's happening. And understanding those dynamics will be really valuable toward understanding how we can expect climate change to affect systems all over the planet.